Ilibu had long salted hair, black, with a shock of white that ran down her backs. Within an unforgiving environment, and underground, on the planet where she lived, she was a short woman, about four foot tall. She was a very beautiful woman though, but, both of her eyes were different colors, the left eye was brown, and the right eye was blue. A trait common to all of Ilibu's people. Strong gravitation on the planet she was from, gave her immense strength, in environments with lower gravity. She also had the ability to deplete energy sources around her. Unlike other humans within the plains, her people could not harness energy of any kind. Instead, Ilibu and her people depleted energy within the proximity from where they were. When they departed from that area though, the depleted energy shortly returned. Ilibu grew stronger with the energy that was depleted, but when she ran out of that energy, her strength returned to normal. Some of her people thought of this as a curse, while others thought of it as a blessing. Reasons for why these people were like this is still unknown, but it was generally believed that it was because of the planet from which they came. At a young age, Ulubu had to go through strenuous training, in order to learn how to control herself from depleting energy sources. Not only could she deplete the energy, after proper training, she was able to prevent herself from depleting energy too. When she was young though, after puberty, the phenomenon began, and it seemed more of a curse than a blessing to her. Ilibu was a Cistercian, and her life was ruled by discipline, and sheer intellect alone. Her people had to do things manually. Not only did the Cistercians have to survive against draconian hunters wishing to enslave them, they had to survive within deep caverns beneath the planet. Nobody could survive on the surface of Ilibu's homeworld. Cisterians had to go below, into the shadows of their world, and didn't even know of how they came into being on this harsh world, which is called Lucius. A planet located within a binary star system. One large star producing much of the energy within the star system, and the other, much smaller. The smaller star pulls energy from the larger star, as they rotate around one another. This in turn, causes the environment on the surface of all the planets within its solar system to become inhospitable. Released energy from these stars stir within space, as well as on the surfaces of each planet. Strong winds destroy mountains, cause tidal waves, and storms rage endless on the surface of Ilibu's planet. At a young age, seduced by the Overking, Ilibu became a wife, gaining rank among her people because of the seduction, and impregnated with Zuthra's second child. Ilibu's people became the favorite of Zuthra's children. While sleeping, Zuthra gazed upon her, and was overwhelmed by the woman he was looking at. The beauty of her skin, and shape of her body, Placing his hand upon her head, then moving it downward, while he caressed her body, Zuthra entered her dream. In the dream, he made passionate love to her, and she was smitten by the smell of flowers, sunshine above her head, and grass beneath her feet. Ilaba was laid out upon the grass, with a magnificent, blue-eyed man upon her. She was impregnated within a dream, and became a wife. From that day on, as a reward for his new wife, Zuthra granted the power of discernment to her people, and powers of utterance, was given on the planet known as Lucius. A barren planet, in an unforgiving region of space, ignored by most, and avoided by others. This place is where the power of utterance began, through discernment.